Hello, welcome back to another episode of Pollock New Vegas. It's been about a week and a half because I just come back from holiday. In this episode, I think we are going to meet other factions. But who's first? I'll go for the nearest one. saying it's been about a week and a half since the last video because I went on holiday I need to equip my weapons sense.
station. I think it's up there. Climb us this mountain, shall we? Now you die! That's the first time I counted in here. In this game. Great radiator around here, isn't it? And plus, now it's plus three. Jesus. Any other ways? Stem packs too. Let's get away from the radiation, shall we? This is a dangerous place, human, especially for your kind. Oh. I suggest you turn back. There's nothing good waiting for you further on. What makes this a dangerous place? You must have heard her radio broadcasts. Though why a human would follow her invitation here is beyond me, unless you didn't listen very closely. The voice on the radio belongs to Tabitha, the supreme commander of Black Mountain, or as she calls it, the state of Utopatha. She took control of this place almost two years ago. 
The super mutants here do whatever she says, and she says humans are to be killed on sight. Sounds like you've had enough of Tabitha. What if you had some help? Help would improve the odds. Help might just make the difference. All right, if you're good enough at what you do to meet me in the village up near the peak, we can talk further. I'll have a plan by the time I see you, if I see you. Good luck. It's gonna be a lot harder for you to get up there than it will be for me. Shut one kill. I went to the bunkers. Oh, what a shot. Okay, so we'll back this in. There's a bunch of somewhere. Inside a bunker, perhaps?
Ach so. This bunker. Oh, hello. We both had to steal. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. Hand over everything you're carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down to your underwear. Mm, excuse me? What's going on here? I've told you what to do. Strip off your clothes and equipment or face summary execution. Will you comply? Fine. Take it all off and hand it to me. Then come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Paladin Ramos is waiting for you. Hello? How the hell did you get in here? Normally I would have already shot you, but I'm under orders to bring you to the Elder. Will you come peacefully? I'll speak to your elder. Lead away. Okay. I'll take you to him. Follow me. Closely. Or you'll be shot. Hello. How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. I was just exploring the area and noticed your patrol coming out with you. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern, and I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved an ncr ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top for example i want him driven off understood why haven't you killed a ranger already yes we could kill him easily enough but sometimes you can learn a great deal by observing people both enemies and friends which is why it will be very interesting to observe how you choose to deal with the situation and decide which you are, enemy or friend. Do we understand one another? I can take care of the ranger. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission and you'll be fine. What is this, saw? You'll find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. Been a shotgun collar on me.
Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? I'm not a powder ganger. You're pointing a gun at me and I'll stick it up your ass. Ha! <laughs> Got some stones on you, son. I like that. What can I do for you? What are you doing here? Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working, and a safe house is no good without one. I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. I have to get out of here. Now why would I do that? You see some powder gangers on the approach or something? Powder gangers use these bunkers as high does once or twice a month. You've seen that with your own two eyes? God damn. I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep. I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. You need to shoot him. Stand back from the door. The elder's eager to hear your report. Hello? How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? The ranger won't be a problem. He's gone. Gone? Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? I convinced him that staying here was more dangerous than moving on. Yes, you exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, if you end up betraying us, we will know it. And there will be no mercy. Okay. What do you want to help me? What I wish to discuss with you can wait for once I get settled in the command room, Outsider. One hour later. So, what do you want to discuss? When you first showed up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? I'll help you. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, 
allowing no entry or exit, with you being one of the few exceptions. In exceptional cases, teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three such teams have gone missing recently, and the news of their disappearance has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the lockdown, I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. I'll begin looking immediately. I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them, but their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment, but hopefully some of what's available will prove useful to you. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter, and I think we might be able to help each other out. I don't know what the Elder talked to you about, but I can tell you this chapter is in trouble, and he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? Why should I trust you? Why should you trust the Elder? I'd recommend listening to both of us, and choosing whom to trust for yourself. So are you willing to listen? Sure, go ahead. As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years, and those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by, and many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. Have you ever tried bringing us up with the Elder yourself? Of course I have, many times in fact. The Elder has an open-door policy and will listen to advice on any subject save this one. He refuses to see that our isolation is slowly weakening us. Aside from being our duty, going out on missions is what kept us strong. And because he fails to see that, he must be replaced. And I suppose you would nominate yourself? I would. I'm the senior most paladin in the chapter, and have more combat experience than any two others here put together. I'd gladly support another candidate, but no one has the courage to step forward and make the attempt, so it falls to me. I would put this chapter back on the right path, if I could just assume leadership. How do you propose to do that? I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters, so they refuse to help me. Which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? What do I get out of helping you? If I become Elder, the lockdown will be lifted and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again. And when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? I'll see what I can do. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. As head of security, he's more familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, 
I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you find to me, and we'll move from there. Vamos. Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. What would an elder have to do to get kicked out? So, you've been talking to Harden, eh? He's been looking for a way to use Sir McNamara ever since the lockdown started. Don't get me wrong, he's a good man. But Elder McNamara has done all right by us. If it weren't for him, none of us would have survived at Helios. I'll tell you what I told Harden. There have been only a few cases of elders being dismissed from their posts in the Brotherhood's history. And those involve crimes that someone like Elder McNamara is just not capable of. You can look it up for yourself if you want. I'll grant you access to that portion of the history section of our data store. See Senior Scribe Ibsen about accessing it. I need to get going. Bye. The bunker takes... There you are. Look, this isn't a great time... Oh, what the hell. It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Something wrong? Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. Why is that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. A virus? Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. Anybody got to help? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. What do we need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish, but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. I'll give it a try, then. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Hello. We got it. The virus has been purged. You actually did it? If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. 
Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Now that data store is fixed, what do you think of Hardin trying to get... Look... Look dumb. I can understand how the man might be frustrated by the current situation. He's a take-charge sort of fellow. Standing around's not his strong suit. I myself often wish we could end this interminable stasis and begin moving forward again. What kind of information is in the data store? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. How do I get access to more topics in the data store? Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Here you get going. Bye. Let's go back to Vamos. Hey there. Something I can help you with? One of the data store entries mentioned a chain that binds. What is that exactly? That's an old, old principle that's been around since the Brotherhood was founded. It basically means that you have to obey a superior officer. It's pretty much common sense, but it gets invoked a lot when people get pissy about following orders. If you're curious, I'll give you access to the data store entry on it. You'd probably be the first to read it in years, if not decades. I need to get going. Bye. Here you are. What is it, Outsider? Have you discovered anything? Do you know anything about the chain that binds? I could hardly call myself Head Paladin if I didn't. It's one of the first things every initiate learns when they start training. What about it? One of the few times Elders was dismissed was due to it. I could be wrong, but I think that's a dead end. McNamara's always followed orders, and we've been incommunicado since fleeing Helios. Do you know there's a second part for, to it? Second part? What are you talking about? It says a superior is not allowed to give orders to the men under his subordinate. That is the standard procedure, yes. For example, McNamara gives orders to head scribe Taggart, who then relays further orders to the scribes. I wasn't aware that failing to do so was punishable, however. Interesting. If we can just find an instance where McNamara went around someone and gave orders to the subordinates, we'll have him. Why do you dislike McNamara so much? It's not that I dislike the Elder, but I strongly disapprove of his current style of leadership. We're safe, yes, but at what cost? What would you do if you became Elder? 
After lifting the lockdown, the first thing I do is send scouts out to recon the area. We need to know what's going on out there. Next, I'd resume patrols in the near vicinity and begin sending search teams out to the spots the scouts reported were relatively safe. It's standard procedure when a chapter relocates to an area, but standard procedure wasn't our last elder's style either. Later. Found the missing patrols, or was something else on your mind? I was hoping to speak to you about other matters. I can spare a little time. What did you want to talk about? What is it, Outsider? The Earth has me looking for lost patrols and retrieved their mission disks. Yes. I know the loss of the patrols has weighed heavily on his mind for some time. He took it very personally when they first went missing. That was when I first began to seriously question his ability to lead us. A commander has to be able to deal with the potential loss of his men. It's strange that he would ask you to find mission disks on them, however. The missing paladins were all on standard patrols, which don't need them. Only brothers sent on special assignments are given mission disks. If you should find any on the Lost Patrols, let me know. Training required. Okay, that's one. Everyone's at Capricorn headquarters.
spider box falling from the mountains. So. Who was that? Has increased. inside or what? How may I serve you, Master? Yeah, it could, could be inside. Bullets, nice. Hidden door. No. Oh. Hello! Please remember visiting hours are from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please show your badge or make your way out of the building. No. Cells. Don't know why I picked up that. Those are my confusion cells. Oh, give me that NCL dollar. Authorized facial pattern. Please present credentials for first floor access. Mm, sorry, I was just leaving. Invalid response. You have 30 seconds to vacate before security is alerted.
gonna stop a blockbuster. We could both slow down, so. Somehow, I think that's important. But you have been warned. Please vacate the premises or you will be considered an intruder. Leave me alone.
level. Second floor now. Here's some bottle caps. What else is that? Nice. Bullets and caps again. I'll take that. Floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Oh, it's just leaving. Invalid res Can you not? How'd you see me anyway? Must be the noise. Ugh. Don't start. No, it's still there. Ripcon identification badge. To
star caps. Just went past that one. Uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.